Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're making the insulation video. We'll be insulating and putting the wires in the walls. Uh, but first things first, we've got to take the strips off that kind of seal up the holes on the plywood. Once we have all the strips off, we'll number all the plywood so we know where it goes back. That way when we put our screws in, everything lines up in the original holes. Um, so make sure to stay tuned and watch this project from beginning to end. Um, we've got quite a few different tools, but this metal um, wall scraper, it's a stiff one, it seems to do the trick. You get it under and you twist right by the screw. All these connections for wires, they're all cut out. They're all very sharp. Um, there's no protective. So I'm going to fix all that. I'm gonna wrap all these. Coming up the wall, same with all these. I'm gonna wrap them all again, another sharp hole where wires go through and there's nothing protecting it. They did paint the outside frame here, black for the door, but all the steel, Inside the trailer is not painted. I am going to paint that all. It's all going to be uh, painted with trim clad uh, rust prevention paint. Uh, and I will paint that once I get all the wood down. One thing I am going to do uh, is mark every piece because everything's coming down. Even all the metal, I'll have to mark it all just so I know where it all goes back. I will start my time lapse now. I'll take all the wood off the walls and off the ceiling, and then I'll come back and check in with everyone. Hey everyone, uh, we are in the installation process right now. We've gotten about half the trailer done. Um, I just want to go with the process, over with the process with you guys so you guys know uh, what I'm doing and how I'm making it work on this trailer. Uh, my frame is not a square tubular, tubular frame. It's like a U uh, kind of with two wings on it. So the tough part is getting the insulation behind. So what we're actually doing is we're cutting the insulation to the width and then from there we score it down the middle and break it in half. Uh, but it's got this plastic material so it doesn't actually break in half so we can shove the two sides in and then you push the middle in and it closes tight. Um, and that's the only way to really get it a snug fit and get the insulation either side of these lips. Um, we are dealing with some screws on the bottom that we have to get by. So we're doing the bottom pieces first. We're just shoving two pieces cut in half down past the screws. And that allows us to get down below the floor where the insulation needs to go. Uh, so I'll show you a few spots on the trailer and uh, I'll show you what we've done as well. Next piece here, we scored it. Already cut the height and width. Get the top to the bottom. There we go. So now you can see it opens up. So, lock that side into that. For some reason, I'm high. So I cut this one high because high I cut it to my last one. I'm going to pull it off the wall and cut a few inches off. So you guys know we're using R5 rigid insulation. Uh, I decided not to go with the pink stuff here in Canada. The pink stuff is more than double the value of the, the, this R5. Um, there's one step down which is an R3.75 and uh, I think it was $10 cheaper. This stuff came into $30. Uh, for a 4 by 8 sheet and the pink stuff was close to a 70 sheet which for a 24 foot trailer that's way out of my price range this stuff was the, the best for the price so that's why we went with the gray stuff get all your corners and edges tucked in and just push 
Kind of like a closet. Really nice tight seal. So you guys can see inside this would normally be the U channel uh, we've just a one inch a little over an inch thick piece and if you just push it in there you push it into the screws um, and that's what we'll be doing on all the ribs on the trailer all, all the way around okay so we're taking all the little pieces and even in the smallest little gaps still feeding it in so next up, we're gonna be working on the roof. And what I've decided is I'm gonna do two inch because I have additional space up there and that's where you lose all your heat. So I'm going to be doing two inches of insulation instead of one inch on the walls. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed those time lapses. As you can see, we have the R5 insulation on the walls. Um, it actually went in really easy, easy to cut, quick measurements. Uh, we got a really tight fit. Um, I explained to you how I put it in there because of how my framing is. Um, yeah, it went really easy. So it took me a, a day and a half to do the trailer. Uh, it's an eight and a half wide, eight feet inside and 24 feet outside. Um, a little over 24, 24 and a, almost a half in length um, and then on the roof because we had um, as you can see kind of out there we have these wood pieces uh, you can see on the next one it gives us an extra inch up there so I didn't want to have insulation and then have an inch gap so I wanted to double up my insulation so I had two inch two inches of insulation so on the roof side we have the R5 um, and that's tight to the roof and then below that uh, you got cheaper insulation and that's just to eliminate that that gap um, cheaper insulation is 3.r 3.75 so that gives me 8.75 on the roof and the five on the walls uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out if you guys have any questions put them in the comments below um, I'd be happy to answer them if you have a cargo mate trailer like mine um, I found lots of spots where I had to fill holes where air was coming through or light um, where the jacks were at the back there was about a uh, two to three inch size hole um, so that was huge to get that filled up and uh, once we were all done we went around with spray foam filled up anything that was really small with spray foam and then now I'm coming back and doing the tuck tape uh, any any spot where I think the foam might fall out um, like up in the header here right above me um, that's not gonna have any wood against it. There's a there's a molding, uh, metal molding, that sits just out from it. Um, so that'll have the tuck tape. I don't want that foam falling out when I'm driving. And once it's all sealed, I'll never know. So we'll uh, we'll get it all taped up, get all the seams covered, and make sure it's uh, air airtight. But uh, like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to stay tuned for the next video.